All right, so our boy Trump is wild, wilding again, what? going rampant. <laughs> Let me tell you what he says. <laughs> Let me he, tell you what he says every day. <laughs> he about to tell you what we looking for in life. Trump knows all, y'all. Donnie T, talk to me. <laughs> Would you rather have the black president or the white president who got 1.7 billion off the price? I think they want the white guy right now. I think they want the white guy. It's crazy work. <laughs> Show of hands, they want the white guy. All right. Just... Only white guy we want around this motherfucker is Chuck. You hear me? <laughs> But ben Franklin to, to do too. You know but to piggyback off of that, I'm not a Trump supporter. But to piggyback off of that, the beginning of what he was saying about that is that basically a black president don't, doesn't get respect as much because he's black versus a we white only president. had one black president for you. How can you say that? And that's factual. Only too. I mean, what he was trying to say in the black beginning. How can office? he not say that? Niggas ain't getting no respect around this motherfucker. He bro. was saying like basically he who was didn't able, respect Barack Obama. I'm just saying. Me too. Who didn't respect Barack Obama? I'm not saying he was Barack basically saying he was respected. able to get all that. So whatever one point, whatever he was saying, because in business, there that other countries or whatever is they rather respect and do business with a white person than a black. black no, that's a fact. That's what he was really saying before the, the clip led. Uh, you know. See, but trying to nobody want to do that business shit. with a black he woman. Trying to get with the Russians, boy. They, I don't like the way he a said black that. Person, if you ask me, or a black man for that matter. Mm-hmm. I don't like the way he said it though. And it, as, 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 as fucked up as it is though, it's it's it's, it's a stigma. So it's always like one yeah. bad apple spoils the bunch, right? You know what I'm saying? And a lot of black motherfuckers ain't got no business savvy. They ain't got so I wouldn't do that by right. I probably wouldn't do business with a black motherfucker neither. He was also trying to say I ain't saying that I wouldn't. Nah, I get what you're saying. But on I the, could just on imagine, account of, like, but, uh, but what they teaching the foreigners before they come over here, like, you know what I mean, about the culture, you know what I mean? Like, oh, man. as far as history goes and shit like that, like, we we always been at the, <coughs> at the bottom of the barrel when it comes to that, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, His real point, he really was saying, too, like, shoot, if y'all ain't gonna want a black person, y'all really ain't gonna want a black woman to run that country, too. That's what he was really getting at. They highlight Woman. the bad and you know what I'm saying and take away the good. Bury this. This shit. nigga actually came out the other day to Fifty Cent's Mini Man. Yeah, that's what I was about to get to. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't blurred out. <laughs> Niggas wish death upon me. Are oh, you hearing it? Like I'm like, what? You stepping on my segways? I'm sorry. <laughs> if it's in the topic group, don't bring it up until I bring I'm it up. I'm sorry. Bro. It was right there. <sighs> I'm like, what the f is this? The United States, Donald J. Trump. And niggas trying to take my life away. <laughs> but this you is want a who black want. person or you want a white person? And then came out to the most niggerish song you could play after being shot at. Hey, man. Mm -hmm. But this who you want in president? Though? No, this is why I respect him, man. <laughs> this is why I respect him, bro. Oh, shit. Hell no. Thank Hold you. on. ISO on, ISO on Arco. Excuse uh, Go ahead. I mean, tell us more. Because, bro, I will. So, is, bro, think about it this way, bro. This, this ain't no motherfucking fairy tale land, all right? This ain't cookies and bubbles, bro. This ain't. Off, you know what I'm saying? We can take a stand and you know what I'm saying? We're gonna get ours. Like, come on, bro. We've been going through this shit for how long? You feel me? And it's actually getting worse, way worse. You know what I'm saying? I don't see shit getting better for our people. You know what I'm saying? Now, everybody sitting up there talking about the fact that, oh, he don't really, you know what I'm saying? It, we haven't really given, you know what I'm saying, nobody the reason. You know what I'm saying? Uh, politically, in that, in the, in the, in a sense, <coughs> besides Barack Obama, to respect us. You know what I'm saying? Like what? Since Martin Luther King or some shit? Like it ain't really no. It ain't too much out there. What you got? You get you got a few Democrats. You know what I'm saying? That's really speaking out for us. You know what I mean? But it ain't really like 
somebody that's really going to really talk to somebody uh to to that's in power to change things you know what i'm saying like think about who's really in power to change shit and do shit you know what i mean so like it's, i'm gonna ask you this question then what do you mean by empower and change because everything is it, it can be a change but it, it, it's either gonna be for the better or the or against it right. and exactly. uh, so point, so with trump you right it'll be changed but it's gonna be detrimental it ain't all right, so if you ask me it ain't gonna be nothing that's gonna put us all in a position that's gonna you gonna be like okay i'm comfortable with this i think it's gonna you gonna i are think you this, comfortable now Nigga, I wasn't never comfortable to begin exactly. with. Exactly. That's my you, point. You know, so, you asked him a question that you didn't give him a chance to answer. You said, my question is this. What do you consider? Yeah, because he and he responded. And I and it, that's how the... He, did he didn't know. answer the question, but he said something that took it to Repeat him. the question again. What do you consider to be change or empowerment? Because I want to... Because, it like, again, Trump... Everybody keep looking for equal... Equal this and equal that, and it, shit ain't never been equal for us, bro. Like, Correct. we always been taking our circumstances and and making the best out of every fucking situation <laughs> there is. You understand? So, it's not like we gonna get a black president and everything is gonna fucking change and everything is gonna be, you know what I'm saying? All great for us. You know what I'm saying? Uh. It ain't about Whatever, you know what I'm saying? We still going to have problems getting loans. We still going to, you know what I'm saying, have a, a stigma, as you called it. You know what I'm saying? Everything is still going to be there, bro. Like, it's just all about so I, so you I, making life better for you, bro. Fuck that political so, shit. So, okay, like, but the, but this is the, this the whole thing, though. That's what it is. It ain't even... As, with the politics, they play, they, they play on... They play on your feelings. They play on your belief system. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like this man, like if like if you don't really think that this man is doing everything in his power just to grab a vote, this yeah. he don't. This man don't go to church. This is pandering. But whatever. this man, but he but he's saying and he he's saying whatever. So how can I just believe anybody that's going around just saying whatever to but try and get like, me to? And he's not. He doesn't have okay. nothing behind it. I'll accept him saying that versus. Bringing out Megan the Stallion to come out and twerk for us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. To catch everybody's attention, uh, Mr. Biden or Kamala Harris, excuse me. Like, what? I mean, it was. I mean, as far it as came the, out to Fifty Cent, any the, man. It, hey, it's pandering and trolling at the what's, same what's, time. Yeah, what's like, better though? Like, like, let me say, it's a lesson for what, two evils. But I'm just looking at what you are gonna benefit at the end of the day. At least words. give it to me straight and don't try to mesmerize me with some ass. You feel me? Like, but that's what I'm saying. You, you, you keep the bringing up the fact of what he's saying to your face. You keep bringing up what he's saying to It's time to pass the ball to somebody else, y'all. This is what I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna pass it to Beezy because Beezy ain't got to been able to put a word in on this shit. What I, you said that what you respect about him, what I'll say is for everything that he do that I could respect him for is five things that he does that I can't respect him for. Dude is a piece of shit. Like there ain't no way around running, it. Man. That's it. And because he good at business, but, that don't mean he's good at being a person. He's not, not good at yeah, business. And that, that part. And like, he he's not a good person. <laughs> but hold on, wait, listen though. He <laughs> doesn't have nobody's best interest for nobody. But he is. No, and he's not a good businessman. I gotta look that up. He what type of president talks and gets hundreds of people to storm a, a government official building? Mm -hmm. Tells him that he'd go with them And then just doesn't go with them even Yep I'll, I'll be with you every step of the way He did didn't he He, he, did. he told him that He ain't saying no regards out to Again to the people's families that died Like he showed no remorse for nothing And that's what I'm saying You keep saying what the fact that he's told you He don't give a fuck about you And he don't like you You respect that But look what you're losing If he becomes an office Look what comes with it that makes no sense. You can't. You can respect a nigga that say fuck you, but you gonna put him in a position to where he, you all, you're, you're gonna lose. Doing anyway. All right, so that's all they doing. So anyway. here's here's my thing. It seems you kind of have a, a favor as in Kamala over Trump, right? I'm looking at all up and in yes, regard. I want to know a yes or no question. Yes. All right. Name due three to, things due to, that you think she's gonna actually fix or help when she gets in office. She ain't gonna. She ain't gonna. Uh, uh, Obama. Uh, uh, Obamacare. People's still gonna get them food stamps. That people still be trying to go and find. They gonna still get them. 
But why you Trump think that's to, a good thing? Trump though? taking well because people why fucked up. Why is it up. so good for our people to be on food? I'm stand? not. Hold on, time out. I never said that. It, we're not. We, that is something that we're not even talking about. I never I said know. it was okay for people to get food stamps. Okay. I would rather for I would rather the world be able to have the money to be able to afford whatever lifestyle that they want. The point, but that that's not the. Ca- the yeah. But that's not the point. The point that's you not, bringing of food stamps fact, is like your argument towards no, why it my should point be good is, for my office point, stuff. My point is when Trump is in office, he's taking away Obama. Care anything, any government assistance that you or your family may be getting, you are not going to get. So again, Project Twenty Twenty Five. If you haven't watched it, you haven't read it, read it. Because when this, because they're tying it to him. Mm-hmm. So when yeah. he gets in office, what you get Look and what up. your family is awarded, you're not going to get that no more. So fuck Trump, fuck Kamala. But I look at what's coming with them. And at the long haul, for four years, I know that's going to be a lot of fucked up shit that people are going to have to endure because once he's in office, you cannot get him the fuck out. All right, out. so let me ask you this, bro. How do we not know that Project 2025 ain't getting villainized by the other side so you won't vote for them? Okay, so guess what? We're here to find out. And somebody going to be like, goddamn. I mean... So at the end of the day, we either, if I'm wrong and you right, I'm gonna be like shit. I was wrong in the mo- and I'm gonna be stuck with the decisions I made and stuck with the rules and bylaws, whatever the fuck that come with it. See, here's okay. Here's the problem with all of this. Why do you feel like you could trust her more than Trump? They're both politicians. I don't trust that you missing what I'm saying. Let me say something. I don't give a fuck about neither one something. of them. Let me. I, I get what mm-hmm. he's saying. The politics, both sides, Democrats, Republicans, they full of shit. But if you got to go with a lesser evil or something or whatever, then I'm going to... Do we? That's what he's saying. But wait, let me just say... Independent? Let me just say this. Ain't nobody talking about how Trump was just also on the stage talking about how he's going to give police immunity. For shooting that black lady, bro. We just talked about this last week. Like, y'all not hearing the shit that comes out of his mouth? And no, he's not a good businessman. Look up his businesses. He has gotten bankrupt uh, and, and went to court to also, man... Trump is no. He's All not right. a good let me Let me get the pot back and stir it real quick. So I don't think we should vote for either one of them. Like, let's say since Al Gore versus George Bush, we've been voting for the lesser of two evils, and we still don't get who we want, even in that one. Like, he used some type of fucking loophole to make sure they didn't recount the ballots in Florida. George Bush was never supposed to win. We didn't want him to win. So, like, why do we keep just choosing the lesser two evils? Why do we keep playing into that game? What can we do to make our own change in the country? What can we do to get vote somebody locally. more progressive? Quit voting. Vote locally. No. Learn your, learn your laws. Learn, learn, what, learn, learn, learn what you can do as a citizen yourself because a lot of us don't know our own rights. Take your ass downtown. We don't know what we That's can true. do or what we can't do. Go down That's there true. to the hall downtown. It's a, lot of, it, it's a lot of shit that they tell you that you got to do and you ain't got to do that. But because we've been brainwashed to believe this or we they got us scared to even go and try and research and find out, we think certain shit is until it ain't. All right. That's that on that. <laughs> that's <laughs> real quick. No, that's no, that on, on that. On. The independent That's that on, on the, that. The independent on that on the ballot is a Kennedy. That's, Nobody didn't know that. I knew, I knew that. <laughs> so All listen. Right, okay. 